How's my hair? How's mine? Great. I can't see it. It's shaved. <laughs>。Denise here with Punk World Views, and I'm here with Gray Gordon, and we're going to do a talking tattoos. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm wonderful.、Uh, staying out of the heat. How about you?、Uh, I'm currently staying out of the heat, so I'm pretty stoked about that. This is my favorite warp tour because the press area is in a、uh, fan. I don't think it's air conditioned. Maybe air conditioned. Airport hangar. It might be air conditioned because it feels amazing in here, but it's also the middle of the summer in California, so it might just be fans that feel awesome. California is awesome. We don't need all the air conditioning. We just need shade, right? Very true. I mean, I'm not from California, but yeah, I assume that's true.、Yeah. Okay. Well, down to business. Talking tattoos. Obviously, you have lots of tattoos.、Um, I want to know what your first tattoo was. My first tattoo is on the back of my right leg, and it's a it's a panda. Actually, it's a well, it's a moshing panda with bamboo letters that say、uh, drug free. Yeah, it's a, it was a straight edge tattoo I got when I was 17, and、uh, it's like an album cover from a band called Good Clean Fun, like a hardcore band. Yeah. How did you get tattooed at 17?、Uh, my friend Dusty, he is like a really really great tattooer, Dusty Neal. He now owns a shop called Black Anvil Tattoo in Fort Wayne, Indiana. But、uh, he was in his first year of tattooing, and we were homies. And my mom and my dad are very cool, so they were all about it, especially considering it was a drug free tattoo. Yeah, they were they were into it. Okay, and、uh, what's your most recent tattoo? Oh, that's that's such a bad question. I, or it's not a bad question. It's just a hard question because I don't know. I get no. I just get tattooed so often. I think it might. It's probably something on my thigh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working into the really bad parts of my body now that hurt really <laughs> terribly、yes. because all of the easy spots are filled. So something up on my thigh, I think. Okay. So the upper thigh hurts a lot. Yeah, upper and her thigh hurts really badly.、Yeah. I heard that the less the sun sees it, the more it hurts. You think that's true? No, I don't think that's hurt. No? no, I don't think it's true. I don't think so. What has hurt the most so far?、Uh, well, torso probably does hurt the most, so that does fall in line with that. But I also have my head and face tattooed, and that hurts really, really bad. It hurts really bad. Okay.、Um, do you have a favorite tattoo? I think my back piece.、Uh, it's like、um, the Rock of Ages. It's like an old, you know, old Christian painting with like a big,、uh, a girl just clinging to like a big stone cross, but it's a big X. It's like a straight edge tattoo. Yep.、Okay. Yeah, for sure. And、uh, do you have any tattoos that you don't like or that you want to get covered up? I mean, yeah, yeah. I have a. Yeah, I think everybody does. It's 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 kind of a bummer because now that the internet exists, everybody like young kids they know what good tattoos look like, so they don't have bad first tattoos. It's unfair, but yeah, my collarbone I really want to get covered up. And why? It looks. What is that? A skull? No, it's it's this down here. It's a Star Wars tattoo that I got when I was also like 17 or 18, and I love Star Wars, but it was my friend Nate's first collarbone tattoo, and we both just want it off the earth. I think, yeah. Pause for editing. <laughs> Are there any other tattoos that you feel worthy, or that have a good story that you'd like to tell? Yeah, I don't. I, a lot of the time, I just get tattoos because I like the imagery, and I'm into postmodernism. I think aesthetic is meaning. But I have、uh, like my lower knuckle tattoos. They say "Full Clip," and it's a Gangstar reference. Awesome old like '90s hip hop. But my friend Izzy passed a few years ago, and、uh, he was just like really into Mob Deep, Gangstar, a lot of like awesome '90s hip hop, and that was like a big thing that we connected on. So when、uh, when he passed, I got those for him. We had talked about. I don't know. I talked about getting it for him for a long time, and I just finally did. And so that's probably the one that's like closest to my heart as far as sentimentality goes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all the tattoo questions, I guess. So we can wave bye now. This is Denise and Gray. Goodbye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> well, I mean, I saw Riff Raff lifting outside of his bus. So. Yeah, he looks like he is. Somehow inflated himself with water. I can't describe it. I think it's pure muscle, and I would not. I wouldn't say a bad word about him because he could whoop my ass. I have a theory that Riff Raff and Brooke Hogan are actually the same person. If you want to know my opinion. I don't want to weigh in. I'll pass. I'll take a pass on that. Oh, you might have to lift up your shirt. Is that okay? Okay, cool. I, I don't have a great bod, so. It's awkward.